Extraordinary video has revealed the extreme lengths train surfers are going to on our rail network. They've filmed themselves clinging to the roof of a high-speed V-line service and have told Seven News they're willing to risk their lives just for the adrenaline rush. Hiding on a train station roof, two young mates are about to risk their lives. They take a dangerous leap onto a V-line train for a free but illegal ride. We're going. We're going. It's Sunday morning and as the train hits high speeds heading to Geelong, the thrill seekers face the elements. I might fall off. It's pretty weekend. Underneath them, passengers and the driver are unaware, but motorists see it all as the train surfers repeatedly dodge gantries and duck under a bridge which was so close they say if they'd stood up they would have been decapitated. We did not expect the wind to be that strong so we ended up kind of just like kneeling for the whole trip. The daredevils responsible say it's a lot less dangerous than being on top of an electrified metro train. Everybody has has dangerous hobbies. Well, I mean, think about it. Driving a car has a matter of risk. Uh, taking drugs, drinking has a matter of risk. The trains are going at up to 115 kilometres an hour. You know, it's an incredibly foolhardy thing to do. And you know, tragically, we see people lose their lives this way. It makes us feel special. It, nobody else is doing it. As they arrived at their destination, commuters watched on before they jumped to the platform and escaped. That way. Police were already on their way. A passing freight train driver had noticed the pair on the roof and reported it. And today, officers identified one of them and fined him $438, and they're confident they will track down the other. There's always going to be a risk in getting caught, but that also adds to the fun of it. You can only go so far to deal with these acts of extreme stupidity. Paul Dowsley, 7 News.